Good evening, ladies, gentlemen, and all variations thereof, and welcome back to the World of Madness SMP. Today, we are back on the World of Madness server, where we have been doing a little bit of work here and there, but one of the main things that I would like to show you before we get into anything else today is the new map of the base. Now, this map is not complete. Uh, as you can see, we're missing we're missing one map piece up there, one map piece down there. Um, but it does give us a good overview of what the base looks like at the moment. Um, what I'm thinking of doing is I'm going to put on a texture pack at some point that will actually highlight everything properly instead of having the roofs of those two houses be the same muted grey tones as the uh, roads and the docks and everything. Uh, but what this, this map shows us uh, is the farmlands up there, which are quite expansive. You can see the church, you can see the pond, you can even see the graveyard. Um, and you can also see all of the space that we will need to fill out and finish uh, with the various canals that we want to put in, with the sort of big industrial docks that are down on one side, um, etc, etc. And it's, it's quite a, a decent overview of what we have so far. Uh, now, today uh, is a little special, um, because recently, uh, our dear friend, the 8-Bit Monkey, uh, implemented a, uh, uh, not a texture pack, a data pack, there we go, that allows us to gain custom item models. Now, for, for, for those of you that don't know what a custom item model is, or custom model data, as uh, is... Uh, informed by uh, Mojang and Microsoft, who uh, who created the game and implemented the features. Uh, essentially, custom model data means that you can use a texture pack to change the visual appearance of an item or block without having to make it permanently different. So you can you can take you can take uh, for example you can take a diamond hoe and you can give it an alternate texture which means that it does not look like a diamond hoe and in that vein of things it means that we have several uh, new custom model uh, item textures on the server uh, which we will be taking a look at later on during the episode hopefully. Um, and I'll see if I can grab Sai and show them off because uh, we, we have a texture for me, but we also have a texture for Sai. Uh, and we're going to need to grab some netherite for that because I don't have any netherite tools and the, the textures are for netherite stuff. But uh, as for now, before we go down into the nether and find ourselves some netherite, which is going to be incredibly complicated to do because... Uh, George has stolen it all, quite literally. I, I dug below where my portal is in the nether, and it's just been strip-mined to hell and back. There is nothing left down there. So we're going to have to venture a little further afield to, uh, to find our netherite, uh, unfortunately. Um, but yes, before we do get onto that, uh, I want to get started on the Willow Tree. Now, the Willow Tree is a little side project that I've been working on um, in the background these past few weeks. I still haven't gotten the shape quite right that I want, so I think what I'm just going to do is I'm going to start building the tree itself, and I'm going to time-lapse it. And when I finish that, when I figure out the design that I want to go with, uh, then then we'll have it. But at the moment, I'm I'm not sure. Like organic structures are not my forte. Like organic structures are very much not my forte. They are one of those things that I'm not used to. I'm used to uh, essentially I'm used to symmetrical builds, uh, like uh, builds that are 
uh, are defined by some form of like uh, very specific style and organic structures like trees are very difficult for me so we're gonna give a go to that uh, in a moment I also want to put together a design for the trees that are going to go along the uh, the back sort of forest edge forest border between the town and the farm uh, I want to put a, a little bit of time and effort into that as well and I want to finish up the texturing for the ground here outside the ruined chapel um, so I'm going to get started on that, uh, and we'll see how it turns out. Right, now that that is all done and dusted, I think this area is looking a little bit more spruced up. Oh, well, uh, willowed up, if you will. Um, now, I'm not 100% happy with this, I will be honest. As I've said, organic structures are not really my forte. Um, they're quite difficult for me to figure out, um, and this definitely feels less organic than I'd like it to. It also feels smaller than I'd like it to. I I think I should have made it a little taller, a little more overarching of the pond. Um, maybe a little little more bushy. Um, but overall, I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, maybe I'll come back and touch it up later on. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Um, I'm not as I've said, I'm not good at organic uh, builds. I am good at geometric builds. And even stuff like the ship is difficult for me because it contains so many round shapes. Um, whereas this is fully organic. There is no symmetry here. Um, it's, yeah, it's definitely different uh, to my usual, to my usual fare. But we've we've added a bit of uh, a bit of grass, a bit of uh, poppies around the graves. Um, we've added a few uh, what are these? These are uh, lilac bushes uh, around the pond as well. Uh, I think I'm gonna go and steal a fish if I can see one. I would like. A salmon. However, a cod would work just as well if it'll let me pick it up. There we go. Right. Essentially, I just want something to fill the fish pond, um, make it look a little more alive uh, and uh, a little more, uh, more. Yeah, there we go. That feels nice. Just don't jump out of the pond, okay? There's there's nowhere else to go. Um, right. So next up, oh god, I'm still I'm still wearing my armor. Uh, next up is uh, the part of the episode that I have been dreading um, because it means that we have to go into the Nether and we have to go blast mining. Because I need ancient debris so that I can make netherite. However, as I said earlier in the episode, George went along early on in the season and just uh, strip mined most of the nether under where my portal is. So um, actually getting netherite is going to be a bit of a challenge because there isn't any left. He's stolen it all. He's stolen all my netherite, all my ancient debris. Uh, no, it's fine. Um, but I do need to find some, which means this is going to be a rather long and tedious process. So uh, I'm going to be back once I've actually mined up some ancient debris. 
Uh, and then we will actually get started on crafting my new weapons. Uh, which is going to be very interesting. Or my new weapon, I should say. It's just one weapon. It's not, it's not, there's not more than one. Well, there is more than one, but the second one isn't for me. Um, so yeah. Uh, and maybe we'll turn it into a little story sketch. I'm spinning. I hope I didn't give you a headache. Uh, but yes, it is time to mine. Lucian? Yes. Oh, yes. Hello. I oh. Didn't, I didn't. I didn't, need, I didn't need to show you were right there. I should have looked. Uh, hello. Welcome. Welcome. I'm uh, just uh, just doing a little bit of maintenance work and uh, putting together some new tools for myself. What do you think? It's it's quite lovely, isn't it? It's a very nice new uh, electro blade. Standard issue, of course. Ghost Industries technology, but quite uh, quite fascinating, I think. Yeah, I, I, I don't know what you said most of that, but it's very, very thin, very refined, very elegant, very pointy. It is very elegant. I did, yes, it is. It is quite pointy. I, I mean, it's it's an absolutely fantastic blade, in my personal opinion. I think that it will come along quite nicely once it's finished. Um, it is. It. I. I think it's got uh, subtle charm, subtle, elegant charm. I, oh, that's my forging hammer, by the way. Uh, that's what yeah. I actually use to make this beautiful piece. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was, just, I was just curious, you know. Yeah, 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 no. It's, uh, it's, I, I personally think that this is going to be my best sword yet. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely one of my favorite designs so far, personally. Um, it does still need a bit of work, of course, but uh, eventually I think this will come along quite nicely. I've, I've actually, uh, George popped by the other day and uh, asked me to commission him a blade as well. Uh, so if you'd like uh, uh, some form of uh, weaponry like this, I'm more than happy to provide. Um, yeah. I, think, I, think, I, think, I think for now I'm, I'm going to stick with pointy, like... Hmm. Uh, I, I, know, I know it's just like your standard enchanted iron blade, but I don't need too well, much, you know? That is fair. That is fair. I mean, this beautiful blade is... Uh, it utilizes... Utilize, little, little, little. It utilizes a uh, beautiful uh, netherite and tungsten combination with uh, a steel uh, setting and a set of uh, absolutely gorgeous power crystals in the hilt. Uh, which give it that lovely blue glow. It's absolutely fantastic. Now, you I got just, the blue uh, glow. Yes, it's, it's very good. I just need to uh, finish some stuff off. Where did I put my hammer? Uh, Sai? Sai, did, um, did you take my hammer? Bye. Did, 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 you, did you take my... Did you take my hammer? Sai, I need that! Oh... Oh. Damn. Well, that was... Oops, I'm, I'm getting stuck on my wheat fields. <laughs> that was an eventful, uh, eventful day. Um, I do not know how Grian manages this, walking forwards without crashing into everything. Um... Yes, eventful day. We have acquired ourselves a netherite blade. Now, technically, in in lore, if you will, this isn't netherite, although it does use netherite components. This is a standard issue Ghost Industries Electroblade. Uh, 
this is uh, kept in the data banks of any unit and if they need to build it they can with exception of unit 2 uh, and if you're interested in knowing more about that you can go and watch the unlikely reunion series um, where there is a lot of other lore that you might be interested in uh, however ladies and gentlemen that is it for today we have done some work we've made a rather squat looking willow tree we have gained a sword we have lost a hammer Sai has has run off and stolen my my forging hammer um but yeah thank you all very much for joining us uh, for this episode everybody i hope you all enjoyed uh, have a very good evening everyone and a very a very good night